So normally when we think about famous composers, right, we think of people like Beethoven, Mozart, Chopin, Bach, and what we realize is that most of these composers, they happen to be men. So you might be wondering, like, were there no women composers? Well, there absolutely were, but the reason why we mostly only know about male composer is due to a simple reason, and that is gender inequality in the past. Basically, what that means is that men and women were treated differently and were given different opportunities in the past. Men were often the breadwinner of the family, so they were the ones who went out to look for jobs and provide for the family. Whereas for women, they often stayed at home and often took on the role of a housewife. And for the job of a composer, that was mostly thought of a man's job. That's why when women wanted to write music in the past, they were always frowned upon, and the society at that time didn't really accept these women composers. That is why women had a much harder time writing music as male composers did. But that was in the past, and in today's society, we should give much more recognition and attention to these wonderful female composers and their music. So today, I'm going to be introducing a female composer, and her name is Amy Beach. So Amy Beach was an American composer who lived from 1867 to 1944. And she's particularly important because she was the first woman to have a symphony to be performed by a major orchestra. Soon after Amy Beach was born, she already shown immense talent in music. At the age of one, she was said to be able to memorize 40 different melodies in her head. And at the age of two, she was able to harmonize a melody at sight. When she was four, she wrote three waters while she was spending time at her grandfather's place. And what's really remarkable is that she wrote these without a piano. So everything was just in her mind. Gosh, what was I doing when I was four? Anyway, she was extremely talented as both a pianist and a composer. But since her early childhood, she already faced difficulties as a girl who wants to pursue music. When her talent was discovered by a touring company, they offered her to do a concert tour with her playing the piano. But this was rejected by her parents because they thought she was not suitable to do that as a girl and as a child. Nevertheless, she persisted studying music, kept on playing piano and composing throughout her life. Another obstacle that she faced was when she got married at the age of 18. So as part of the marriage condition, her husband actually requested her to stop teaching piano altogether and to limit her concert appearances to twice a year, which means she couldn't perform as much as she wanted to and she couldn't make a living from teaching piano. And because of this, she turned most of her work to composing. One of her most famous work is the Gaelic Symphony, which was the first symphony by a female composer to be performed by an orchestra. And in the Gaelic Symphony, she took a lot of tunes from traditional Irish and Scottish folk songs. And next, we're going to look into one of her piano pieces. So this piece is actually from the ABRSM Grade 5 B1 piece. It is called Arctic Night. So what does Arctic Night mean? Well, Arctic is basically as far as we can get from Singapore. Singapore is in the tropics and it's very hot and humid, but it's the complete opposite in the Arctic, where it's freezing cold. And often at night in the Arctic during summer, the sun never sets. So 
even at night we can see the sun. So because of that, Arctic night can be a very fascinating sight for a lot of us in Singapore. So when playing this piece, we can think of an image of the Arctic night, which is cold, peaceful, dark, and quiet. Take your time before you play this piece to think about the image and to have a peace of mind so that when we play it, we can really express the atmosphere of the piece. Alright, that's it for today's video. I hope that was helpful. And I'll be doing more of these kind of videos where I introduce a composer and their music in the weeks to come. So stay tuned and I'll see you soon.